In the summertime, the Branch Line Station Masters enjoy a friendly competition for the most beautiful station on the island of Sodor. The engines love to help too. One evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. I want Percy to collect some flower bushes for Lower Tidmouth Station, he said. They're at Maithwaite. Maithwaite, Percy said. Y -y yes, sir, he added nervously. Percy chuffed anxiously through the thickening fog. He doesn't like traveling to Maithwaite at night. The line passes through a junction next to a spooky old quarry mine. Percy hoped the signal at the junction would be green. He didn't want to stop next to the mine, but the signal was red. He had to stop. Suddenly, he saw something. Bouncing buffers, cried Percy. His driver hadn't seen the old chimney sink into the ground. The signal changed. Percy was so scared, he steamed away as fast as he could. The next day, Percy was telling Donald and Douglas about the disappearing chimney. It's the naughty gnomes, teased Donald. We fat men with big feet, they make strange things happen, said Douglas. It's legend. They steal your wheels and filch your funnels. Percy didn't want to believe them, but he wasn't sure. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for Percy at Dry Aw Station. I want you to collect some freight cars from the abandoned mine, he said. Y -y yes, sir, Percy answered, but he really didn't want to go there again. Percy hoped he wouldn't see anything else disappear. He slipped into the sidings and buffered up to the freight cars. Spooky, stammered Percy. Suddenly, another building at the old mine sank into the ground. What was that? shouted his driver. Double bouncing buffers, shrieked Percy. He was so scared, he lurched forward and ran the freight car. Naughty gnomes, cried Percy. He steamed away faster than before, all the way back to Lower Titton Station. Percy's driver told Sir Topham Hatt what they had seen. It's the naughty gnomes, cried Percy. They like to cause trouble. It's legend. Nonsense, said Sir Topham Hatt. The old buildings are collapsing into empty mine shafts, that's all. But I saw the gnomes, protested Percy. Of course you did, said Sir Topham Hatt. Garden gnomes. Garden gnomes? To decorate Lower Tidmouth Station, Sir Topham Hatt said. They're not scary. Garden gnomes bring good luck. And he ordered Percy to return immediately and get them. Percy was scared, but he knew he had to be responsible, so he carried on. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. He waited for something else spooky to happen, but it didn't. And Sir Topham Hatt was right. The garden gnomes weren't scary at all. His driver and fireman had collected the gnomes, and Percy took them straight back to Lower Tidmouth Station. Later that week, the station master thanked Percy. We wouldn't have won our competition without your garden gnomes, Percy. Percy was very proud. You were right, sir. Naughty gnomes can be lucky after all. <laughs>